To start a mix, click on the Mixing Palette icon, located in the Track Axe toolbar. To add media, like music, videos and photos, simply drag and drop them into the Mixing Palette. Here I'll drag a loop from my track packs, located in the Media Browser. Track Axe automatically beat matches music, so that all your loops and songs sync perfectly. The global tempo is defaulted to 120 BPMs. You can alter this tempo to your liking by adjusting the tempo pot. To learn more about BPMs and tempos, please view the TrackX Advanced Features video. Once the loop is brought in, it will be assigned to its own track. If you wish to see the name of the loop, you can drag the side across. In the track name, you will see the volume slider, where you can adjust the volume. Right click on the slider to amp up the volume. You can control the global volume of your mix by clicking on the global volume slider. You can also solo and mute the track by clicking on their respective icons. Once the loop is in the track, you have the freedom to paint that loop anywhere within that track. Press stop and simply click the jump to start button to return to the beginning of the mix. If you click on the loop once, you'll notice that it has become highlighted. Once highlighted, you are able to drag the loop to expand it or minimize the loop along the timeline. Also by highlighting a loop, you are able to move that loop to different locations within the palette. When moving the loop, you may notice that the loop will snap to the grid in the palette. This grid is also very helpful in assisting you in lining up loops. It is important to note that the two triangular indents, as shown, represent where the loop ends and the new one begins. These indents are a very helpful indicator in making sure that your loops line up perfectly and sound great. Here I'll add another couple of loops to show how this works. You can also zoom in and out of the mixing palette. If you want to zoom into a specific area, click the play cursor in the exact point in the free area. Click on the zoom in button located in the bottom right hand corner of the palette. To zoom out, click the zoom out button beside it. As you zoom in, you may notice the grid will expand, producing more grid lines which allows you to do more intricate painting of your loops. If you are not happy with the loops you have dragged in or painted, you can delete them in two ways. Simply right click on the loop and select Delete File Segment, or highlight the loop and select Remove All Selected Items. If you want to delete the whole track, right click in the track name and select delete track. Or drag down the track name and click on the remove track button. You can also expand the height of a loop or loops by clicking the expand track height button. Or by dragging the track up and down. If you would like to play a particular section of your mix, the loop region is a very handy tool. On the timeline, right click where you would like your loop to start and select loop start. And then right click on your stop point and select loop stop. You also have the ability to adjust this as you wish. To hear your selection looped, click on the loop play icon and press play. If you would like the loop region to snap to the grid, right click on the timeline and select Show Beat Marks. If you would like to save this small selection, right click and choose Set Selection. Click on the render icon. 
This will save the selection to a file format like WMA or WAV. If you'd like to remove the loop region, right click on it and select Remove Loop Region. You might want to leave your mix and return to it at a later date. To do this, click on the save icon in the toolbar. Name the mix as you desire. It's now saved for you to mix at a later time. We'll now close this mix. Let's reopen the mix we just saved. If you wish to save this mix to a file format like WMA or WAV, click the render icon. Name the mix as you desire and choose your file format. Click save. Your mix is now ready to be saved to CD or posted to your favourite website.